adding and subtracting, with and without regrouping and renaming. The numbers added together are your addends, and your answer is your sum. Can you identify your addends? Yes, 3,254 and 504 are your addends, and your sum, the answer, is 3,758. Adding whole numbers. The number sentence on the screen is written horizontally. When we are solving, we will write it vertically. The larger addend goes at the top. Can you identify the larger addend? Yes, 48,235. The smaller addend goes at the bottom, 1,973. Let's solve. Five ones plus three ones gives eight ones. Three tens plus seven tens gives ten tens. We have to regroup. We place our zero under our tens column and we place our ones at the top of our hundreds column. 100 plus 200 plus 900 gives us 12 hundreds. We place our two under our hundreds column and place our one at the top of our thousands column. 1,000 plus 8,000 plus 1,000 gives us 10,000. We place our zero under our thousands column and our one at the top of our 10,000 column. One 10,000 plus four 10,000 gives us five 10,000. Our number is 50,208. So therefore, our sum is 50,208. Let's do another example, this time without regrouping. 455 plus 223. Five ones plus three ones gives nine ones. Five tens plus two tens gives seven tens. 400 plus 200 gives 600. Our sum is 679. We just added 455 plus 223, which gave us the sum 678. Now, here are some ways to make sure your answer is reasonable. You can estimate or use compatible numbers. When we estimate 455, we get 500. Can you give the estimated number for 223? If you said 200, you are correct. 500 plus 200 gives us the estimated sum of 700. Now, we can use compatible numbers. And the compatible numbers should be easy to add mentally. We're going to use the numbers 450 plus 220, which will give us the sum of 670. The compatible numbers give 670, which is closer to the real value of 678. Let's move on to subtraction. 46,218,315 is our minuend. 11,084,904 is our subtrahend. The number being subtracted is the subtrahend. The subtrahend is subtracted from the minuend. And the answer is the difference. Let's go ahead and solve to find the difference. Four ones from five ones leaves one one. Zero tens from one ten leaves one ten. Nine hundreds from three hundreds cannot work. Go over to your thousands column. 
rename your 8,000 as 7,000. Go back to your hundreds column. Now you have 13 hundreds. 900 from 13 hundreds leaves 4 hundreds. 4,000 from 7,000 leaves 3,000. 8 10,000 from 1 10,000 cannot work. Go over to your 100,000. Rename your 200,000 as 100,000. Go back to your 10,000 column. Now you have 11 10,000. 8 10,000 from 11 10,000 is 3 10,000. 0 100,000 from 100,000 is 100,000. 1 million from 6 million is 5 million. 1 10 million from 4 10 million is 3 10 million. Our difference is 35,133,411. After you find your sum and your difference, remember to always do your check. Let's take a look at this example. 71,328 plus 25,121. Let's go ahead and solve. 8 ones plus 1 one is 9 ones. 2 tenths plus 2 tenths is 4 tenths. 300 plus 100 is 400. 1,000 plus 5,000 is 6,000. 7 10,000 plus 2 10,000 is 9 10,000. Our sum is 96,449. To do our check, we are going to do the inverse of addition. Do you remember what the inverse of addition is? Yes, the inverse of addition is subtraction. So we are going to subtract our difference from any one of our add-ins. Let's take a look. Our difference is 96,449. We are going to subtract that from our top add-end, 71,328. When we find our difference, it should give us our bottom add-end. Let's go ahead and solve. Eight ones from nine ones leaves one one. Two tenths from four tenths leaves two tenths. Three hundred from four hundred leaves one hundred. One thousand from six thousand leaves five thousand. Seven ten thousand from nine ten thousand leaves two ten thousand. So we got back our bottom addend, which is 25,121. So we know that our sum is correct. Or take a look at this. Our difference, 96,449. This time we're going to use our bottom addend, 25,121. Let's go ahead and see if we will get back our top addend. 1-1 one, one from 9 ones leaves 8 ones. 2 tenths from 4 tenths leaves 2 tenths. 100 from 400 leaves 300. 5,000 from 6,000 leaves 1,000. 2 10,000 from 9 10,000 leaves 7 10,000. So we got back our top add-in. 71,328. So therefore, we know that our sum is correct. Let's do another example. 568 subtract 452. Two ones from eight ones leaves six ones. Five tenths from six tenths leaves one ten. 400 from 500 leaves 100. Our difference is 116. To do the check, add the difference and the subtrahend. 116 plus 452. Six ones plus two ones is eight ones. 
One ten plus five ten is six tens. One hundred plus four hundred is five hundred. So we got back our menu end five hundred sixty eight. So we know that our subtraction problem is correct.